today's Builders Blog, we're going to walk through how you can use some exciting new Formstack features to build an annual review process. In this video, we will be demoing two new Formstack features, Step Logic and Approvals. Both of these features pair really well with the pre-existing Workspace feature. Before we dive into the demo, we've got something else to add. We're thrilled to announce that Copilot has a new name, Workflows. This update reflects our commitment to streamlining your processes and enhancing your productivity. To get started with this demo, we're going to create a new workflow in Formstack Workflows. We'll give the workflow a title and choose to start from scratch. Formstack also provides pre-built workflow templates to help you get started. First, we're going to add our form step. In this example, the first step will be a self-assessment form that an employee will fill out. Workflows will bring up a list of all of our pre-built forms to choose from. Next, we'll add our second form. In this example, our second form is a manager review form that a team manager would fill out once they received their employee's self-assessment. On this form, the manager will be able to see all of the employee's answers and can add additional context. Here, we're mapping the fields from our first form onto our second form. Once we've mapped our fields, we're ready to make our assignments. We want the managers to fill out this second form, so we'll assign this step to the manager email. Next, we're going to add fields from our form to create a dynamic message for our manager. Lastly, we'll add a custom identifier. In this example, we're using the employee name field. This custom identifier will help the manager to quickly scan all of the tasks in their workspace to complete their work quickly and efficiently. Now, we're ready to add logic to our workflow. Note that the step logic utility must be positioned immediately following the form that includes the fields you're incorporating into your logic. Now that we've added our step logic, we can go ahead and add our document step and our sign step. We'll map the fields from both of the forms in our workflow onto our document. On our sign step, we'll choose the document we just created and we'll give that document a dynamic title. Then we'll prepare the document for e-signature by assigning the sign step to both the manager and the employee. When collecting signatures, we have the option to set daily or weekly reminders. To complete our workflow setup, let's configure our logic. In this example, we're going to ask the manager if they have additional information they would like the employee to provide. If they say yes, we want the review form to go back to the employee for updates. We will assign this step using one of the fields on our forms, employee email, and we'll check the box to pre-populate the form with the information the employee submitted when they first completed the form. Leaving this box unchecked would send back a blank form for the employee to completely redo their review. Now we're ready to save and run our workflow. We have the option to embed the workflow on a website or share it out via our link. In step one, we're capturing the employee's self-review information. Once the employee hits submit, the manager can visit their workspace to see all of the tasks they've been assigned. Here, we can see the benefit of adding a custom identifier to our workflow, which makes it easy to see where submissions came from. Once they click the Complete Task button, the manager is directed to a form. They can see all of the information submitted by their employee, and they can add their own comments. In this example, we'll say that the manager would like some additional information from the employee and is sending the form back to them. The employee will then receive an email letting them know they need to resubmit their form and why. Here you can see that all of the information the employee originally submitted has been retained and they can now simply edit that submission. Once again, the manager will visit their workspace to review the edits made by their employee. Last step in this workflow is for both the employee and the manager to review and sign the final document. Once they've signed, a completed version of the document is sent to both team members. That's it for this demo. To find more Formstack demos, visit formstack.com backslash builders central.